<laughs> Obviously, I'm not. Um, OK, so let's go and look into adding some values here. And what we're doing is we're taking the square root of um, whatever we're doing, we're taking the square root of 5 plus the square root of 45 plus the square root of 80. Now, before I even get to this, let me just kind of do a quick little review, all right? Um, let's take the square root of 9 plus the square root of 4. Now, those are not, we don't, we're not taking the square root of the same number, right? So let's add them up and see if we get square root of 9 plus square root of 4 does not equal the square root of 13. And you guys know that because you know square root of 9 equals 3 plus 2, which equals 6, right? So ladies and gentlemen, for me to combine like terms, I have to have them be the same exact number. Yes? 3 plus 2 does equal 6. You're right, it equals 5. <laughs> Just waiting on you guys. So you guys can see, but obviously you can see that it, this does not equal square root of 13, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let's see then if. Um, OK, so they have to be the same, right? Um, now, what? Yeah, I'm just trying to say is, yeah, so therefore, to get these to be like turns, if I want to combine these, I have to simplify them. So let's go back to our practice on simplifying radicals. So what you want to look at, remember, the easiest way that I like to look at some fine radicals is find the largest square number that divides into your radical. And we can break that up by using the product rule of radicals, which would be 9 times 5. Since I can rewrite this as 9 times 5, I, know, I now know this is going to be 3 radical 5, because the square root of 9 is 3. Then let's look at the square root of 80. Square root of 80, again, I say, all right, what is the largest square number that divides into 80? And ladies and gentlemen, when you start doing these a lot, you start noticing some patterns. Okay? 16 divides into, into 80 five times. Therefore, you're going to have 4 radical 5. So when simplifying these, I now write this as 8 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 5 minus 4 square root of 5. So it's just going to equal 1 square root of 5, which we can just write as 1, or sorry, square root of 5. Oh, wow. Good job. Questions? OK. Well, we should at least go over two more, and then I'll give you guys the harder ones.